I've been in this before many of them were born. So, if it were game, it will have shown. This thing works. And in the name of Jesus, you will be among kingdom trustees for this entire It will impact on your generations after you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. That's the way it works. But this delivers on the platform of the covenant. Sit time and have a shall not cease. No child communicated with you concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. You sow sparingly, you reap sparingly. You sow bountifully, you reap bountifully. So everyone, according as he poses in us, let him give. So, giving is sowing. Reaping is harvesting. Simple. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6 to 8. And God is able to make all this about that was like, you have enough of your own things, may our bank may continue to distribute towards every good cause. Abandon to every good work because you are only blessed to the level that you are committed to be a blessing. You can't be blessed beyond the level to which you are committed to being a blessing. You can't be. When you see the excret of an elephant, you know it's an elephant. You see the one of a cow, you know it's a cow. You see the one of a goat, you know it's a goat. By the size of their discharges. Amen. A typical elephant consumes 140 pounds of straw per day and discharges 100 pounds of manure per day. Otherwise, it will stop being an elephant. So as God has blessed everyone, even so, let him give. Don't choke your life. When people are not going to tell me they help them, they use machine to push the thing. Amen. Because they can't survive with non-discharge before the food turns to poison. Non-discharge. Not, not, many believers are not, they, not that they are not givers. They are undergivers. They are what? Undergivers. You see that my son, he gave something to his parents yes, and they blessed him. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. He had one word. Somebody said, no, 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 no. <laughs> Never. How uh, can I give something to my dad who he has all the things? Thank you. <laughs> he doesn't need the blessing, but the one who needs the blessing. Yes, that boy did it. Yes, and by Tuesday, was called for an interview and got a job managerial position. Thank you, Jesus. That, my son, you see that tiny one. Go <laughs> managerial position by parental blessing. Amen. By what? Parental blessing. By parental blessing. There are some today across the nations of the earth, they don't even believe they have parents. How is your dad? I, mean, I can't tell, but I heard of him last, maybe six, seven months ago. No wonder you are losing job every day. You get job today, you lose tomorrow. The blessing that makes it well is not there. My grandmother looked at me, John, and said, You did this for me? I said, yeah. You shall be great. I was 20 years old. So I've been carrying the blessing of the womb and of the breast all my life. Somebody else is the anime now, he's a modern day guy. <laughs> you better respond. Like that other young man has done. And what the blessing is, uh, Joseph is a fruitful bow. The blessings of his father has prevailed against all his enemies and above his progenitors. Amen. He's blessed him. Blessed him. Blessed him. Parental blessings are called patriarchal blessings. They weigh as much as priestly blessings. They confer the same level of blessings as priestly blessings. My wife and I got it plenty. From my old parents before they went to heaven. Over to you.
every commandment of Scripture for our profit, not for God's profit. No one here shall be stranded anymore. Very quickly, we have two principal terms of this covenant. One tithing opens the windows of heaven to pour blessings and also serves as our insurance of God's blessings in our life. Malachi 3, 10 and 11. Prove me with your tithe. I will open to you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing until there be not room enough to contain it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. <coughs> we secure God's blessings in our life through the mystery of tithing. No ups and downs, table. Devourers kept at bay. That is, no non tither can work in sustainable financial fortune. No non tither can work in sustainable financial fortune. Sustainable financial fortune. Number two, kingdom advancement investments. Why tithing opens the windows? Kingdom advancement investment keeps the windows open. Haggai chapter 3. And let's start from verse 3. These people say, I mean, God is saying, is it time for you, you to dwell in your seed houses and this house lie, lie waste? Now, therefore, consider your ways. You have so much, but you brought in little. You eat, but you have not enough. You drink, but you are not free with drink. You clothe you, but there is no wrong. And you need to wages, honor wages to put it into a bag with holes. God said, the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Go up to the mountains and bring wood and build this house and I will take pleasure in it and be glorified, said the Lord. You look for much. No, it came to little. And when you brought it in by any means, I did blow upon it. Why? Said the Lord of hosts, because of my house that light waste and he run everyone to his own house. And verse 10. Therefore, the heaven over you is short from you. And the earth is stayed from yielding fruit. Now, Malachi 3.10, you open the heaven by tithing. Now, Agai 1.10, you keep the heaven open through financial advancement investment. Now, go to verse 11. And I call for a drought mm. upon the land and upon the mountains and upon the corn and upon the new wine and upon the oil and upon that which the ground bringeth forth and upon men and upon women and upon all the labor of their hands. They just lose value. They can't deliver anymore. Eh? Verse 12. The people did fear when they had that it's not about God, it's about you. To keep your heavens open for continuous outpouring of blessings, get involved in kingdom advancement financial investment. Let it be a way of life, not once and for all, once and again. Draw a budget that helps you to be calm in your discharge. Can I hear your amen? amen. You heard us announcing today that all new converts to call by at the uh, tent. Why? We have packages for them that will help their faith up, including Bible, including uh, books. Budgeted for. No running up and down. 
Go jet for it. Start from where you are. This is work. These are all ways to prove how much God can trust you and me. He said, um, if you have not been faithful in your righteous mammon, who shall commit to your trust? The true riches. So true riches are entrusted. True means supernatural wealth. Is entrusted into the hands of those that God can trust to use it for his purpose. To use it for his purpose. If a man gave one forty million dollars at a time, not because he has money, but that's where his heart is. Oh, our church is building a university. Praise God. Not what you have been to do. One forty million. I still a church toward him, not a church over here. This things work as it becomes a lifestyle. Yes, sir. You know, when tithing stops, heaven gets short. Devourers are on the loose. Now, when kingdom investment stops, the deal stops. Yes, sir. The art stops from yielding fruits. Yes, so there are things for a lifetime. And when you look at the far future of it, you will jump at it. Now, when this becomes your lifestyle, it will impact on your immediate children, on your children's children, in all their generations. Yeah. May this become your portion. Yeah. Every other given lies up behind this too. Because you need an open heaven to flame financial fortune. You need an open heaven to flame financial fortune. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, a time is coming in this church where some individuals will rise, their companies will rise and say, look, all the churches we want to build in Gabon, please give us the opportunity. Some will come and say, all the churches we want to build in Ghana, give us the opportunity. And they budget it according to the blessing of God upon their life. 